This, this is beyond the game. This is an epic journey into a vast unknown. Through countless ages and across infinite galaxies of untold beauty and unfathomable danger. Where you carve your own path, never veering, Never waning. Always outnumbered. Never outgunned. Chasing down destiny as you peer into the eyes of defeat and quietly say, You're next. Yes. This is what you're here for. This is why you came. This is your world. So what are you waiting for? RTX. It's on. Gaming is huge. People no longer ask if it will keep growing. Of course it will. Now the question is, how big will it get? There are almost 3 billion gamers in the world with 150 million more people gaming this year. Today, the market for games and gaming hardware is almost $300 billion, up $70 billion from just three years ago. Esports continues to be an important driver. League of Legends World's 2021 Finals drew 74 million peak concurrent viewers. The 2021 Dota 2 International paid out a $40 million prize pool. All told, Esports has an online audience of 460 million viewers, and people are tuning in to all types of gaming content. There are now 10 million unique streaming channels on Twitch, doubling over the past two years. 750 million people watched gaming content online in 2021, and the gaming universe is expanding into virtual worlds with their own economies. Roblox has attracted 200 million monthly users, Lil Nas X hosted a concert inside a Roblox in front of 33 million fans. This is also fueling virtual reality, where headsets are expected to grow four times in the next four years. But it's not just about playing. There are 45 million professionals and freelance creators fueling an explosion in digital content. They will become the builders of our 3D digital worlds. And as the gaming experience extends into these vast open virtual worlds, some see an opportunity in the trillions. Over the past 20 years, we have dedicated ourselves to build the best platform for gamers and creators. Not just to delight our customers, but to develop graphics technologies that enable game developers and creative ISVs to do some really amazing work. At the heart of the platform is our GPU and a history of revolutionary architectures like RTX. All told, we have shipped almost one and a half billion GPUs. And on top of the hardware comes a massive investment in our software stack that harnesses the GPU to deliver graphics innovations like game-ready drivers, DLSS, G-Sync, Reflex, NVIDIA Broadcast, Max-Q, Omniverse, and GeForce Now. With billions of devices unable to play the latest games, it's no surprise that cloud gaming is expected to grow to over 100 million subscribers by 2024. For these gamers, we've built GeForce Now, delivering GeForce Class Gaming to over 15 million members around the globe on Chromebook, Macs, Shield TV, Android and iOS phones, and underpowered PCs. GeForce Now has over 1,100 PC games, including 90 free-to-play. From the leading PC game stores, including Steam, Epic Games, Ubisoft Connect, and EA Origin. And extending our partnership with EA, I'm excited to announce that Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 5 are available on GFN starting today. Be sure to tune in to GFN Thursdays, where every week we onboard new games for our members. We've also been working with the world's largest TV manufacturers to bring GeForce Now to millions more living rooms. 
Last month, we launched a beta version of GFN on LG 2021 WebOS Smart TVs. Today, we're pleased to announce a partnership with Samsung to integrate GeForce Now into their smart TVs. Starting in Q2, Samsung Smart TVs will be streaming PC class gaming with GFN. The rapid expansion of 5G offers the potential for low latency cloud gaming everywhere. So we've teamed with AT&T and their fast, reliable 5G network to bring the power of PC gaming to mobile devices. As a 5G technical innovation partner, GeForce Now on the AT&T 5G network offers ultra-responsive cloud gaming on the go. We also have an exclusive offer to announce. Starting today, AT&T customers with a 5G device on a qualifying plan can get a six-month GeForce Now priority membership at no charge. GeForce Now members get access to the latest GeForce technology. Our new RTX 3080 tier of service, powered by the GeForce Now SuperPods, is the first to support 120 frames per second at 1440p on PCs, up to 1600p on MacBooks, and 4K with HDR on Shield TV. Available today at just $99 for a six-month membership. Play the most demanding PC games, no waiting, no downloads, on the latest GeForce RTX hardware in the cloud. RTX momentum continues to build. Ray tracing and AI are defining the next generation of content. Since last CES, we've added over 150 RTX games and applications. And gamers have logged over 1 billion hours of RTX playtime. The Day Before from Fantastic is an open world MMO survival set in a deadly post-pandemic America, overrun by flesh-hungry infected and survivors. It's in the top 10 most anticipated games on the Steam wishlist. Today we are announcing the day before we'll launch June 21st with RTX on, including ray tracing and DLSS on GeForce and GeForce Now. Here's a first look at the day before with RTX on. With over 70 million players, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege from Ubisoft has become one of the biggest competitive shooters. The next game in the series, Rainbow Six Extraction, gamers will compete in a tactical co-op FPS as they engage, contain, and eliminate the mysterious creatures known as the Archeans. Today we are announcing that Rainbow Six Extraction, launching January 20th, will be RTX On featuring DLSS and available on GeForce and GeForce Now. Here's a first look at DLSS in Rainbow Six Extraction. Escape from Tarkov is an online first-person action game. Players battle through the war-torn city of Tarkov, which has been sealed off by UN and Russian military forces. Escape from Tarkov quickly became one of the top 10 most played competitive shooters. Last June, RTX gamers gained a competitive edge with Nvidia Reflex. We are extending our partnership with Battlestate Games to bring more performance with the addition of DLSS. Let's take a look. Everybody, on me! 
Dying Light, the tremendously successful open world action RPG by Techland, had over 23 million players worldwide. The highly anticipated sequel, Dying Light 2, will be launching February 4th with RTX on, featuring ray tracing and DLSS. It's available on both GeForce and GeForce Now. Here's an exclusive look at never before seen RTX on action. For competitive gamers, milliseconds are the difference between winning and losing. We ask gamers to check out the benefits of lower latency gaming with our System Latency Challenge. Early results show up to two times aiming improvement, and this is why eight of the top 10 competitive shooters have integrated NVIDIA Reflex, our low latency gaming platform. And gamers love it. Over 20 million GeForce players compete with Reflex On each month. And the hardware ecosystem continues to grow. Our Reflex Latency Analyzer allows players to easily measure system latency with a single click of the mouse. We now have over 50 Reflex mice and monitors from 16 partners. While Reflex is critical for competitive matches, lower latency is important in any game, as it better connects the gamer and their physical actions to those in the game. Today we are announcing seven more Reflex games and extending Reflex into new genres. These include iRacing, where you can steer with better precision in the world's premier online racing simulator. Rainbow Six Extraction, where Reflex has your six as you confront Archeans. And Sony's award-winning God of War. Beat the boss with better dodges and combos when it launches on PC on January 14th. Let's take a look. Ready yourself, boy. With the global growth in esports, the demand for esports displays has been doubling each year. We believe the time is right to take esports to a new level. Today, we are announcing a new category of esports displays 1440p 27 inch G Sync and up to 360 Hz with new esports vibrance and reflex latency analyzer. These displays are also dual format. They can switch to 1080p 25 inch if that's preferred for certain games. Here's Seth to fill in the details. 1080p displays have ruled esports for over a decade, as the lower resolution has enabled higher frame rates and faster refresh rates. But our research shows that larger, higher resolution panels improve aiming performance, providing larger and more detailed targets to acquire. In fact, 1440p 27 inch displays can improve aiming by up to 3% over traditional 1080p 24 inch displays. For competitive gamers, that's huge. With today's high-end GeForce RTX GPUs rendering esports games well above 360 FPS at 1440p, the industry is primed for a change. Today, NVIDIA is announcing a new class of 1440p 27-inch G-Sync esports displays. These displays feature industry-leading refresh rates up to 360 Hz for the smoothest, lowest latency gaming. Esports tune vibrance color profiles powered by mini LED backlights and oxide transistors make targets pop from the screen. An enhanced, easier to use reflex analyzer automatically measures system latency, so gamers can head into competition with full confidence in their PC's performance. And if gamers still want to play a match at 1080p, the monitor features a special dual format 25 inch 1080p mode. The future of esports monitors is here with new displays available soon from AOC, ASUS, MSI, and Fusonic. A decade ago, we introduced the 50-class GPU, offering gamers great performance on the latest architecture at an affordable price. 
It was the first step up into GTX gaming. In fact, three of the top five GPUs on Steam are GTX 50 class, and one of the most successful is the GTX 1050. When it was released in 2016, the GTX 1050 could power the top games of the time at over 60 frames per second. But the production value of games continues to rise, and modern games need much more GPU horsepower. The GTX 1050 struggles to keep up. Even a 1050 Ti or the more modern GTX 1650 can't power the latest games at 60 frames per second. Today, we are announcing the RTX 3050. The GeForce RTX 3050 brings the performance and efficiency of the Ampere architecture to more gamers than ever before. It powers the latest games at over 60 frames per second. Based on our Ampere architecture, the 3050 comes equipped with second generation RT cores for ray tracing and third generation tensor cores for DLSS and AI. For the first time, you can play ray trace games on a 50 class GPU at over 60 frames per second. Ray tracing is the new standard in gaming, and the 3050 makes it more accessible than ever. The RTX 3050 comes equipped with 8 gigabytes of G6 memory, and starting at just 249, it will be available worldwide on January 27th from all of our partners. With 75% of gamers still on GTX GPUs, this is the perfect time to step up to RTX. We are at the dawn of the next digital frontier. Interconnected 3D virtual worlds, whether for commerce, entertainment, creativity, or industry, are being built today. These worlds are boundless and will be populated with shops, homes, people, robots, factories, museums, an infinite amount of 3D content. And they will be built by an expanding number of creators collaborating across the globe, constructing these amazing virtual environments. For this future, we've built NVIDIA Studio, a fully accelerated platform for creators. It starts with RTX, the most advanced GPU architecture with hardware acceleration for ray tracing, simulation, and AI, and NVIDIA high-performance video processors. The NVIDIA Studio software includes specialized drivers and dozens of SDKs, which accelerate over 200 of the industry's top creative applications. We also offer our own studio apps. With the latest edition, NVIDIA Omniverse for 3D design and collaboration. Today, we are announcing that NVIDIA Omniverse is out of beta and generally available to GeForce RTX Studio creators. 3D content is challenging to produce. It typically requires multiple tools, which are often incompatible. And then you have to wait for long render times. Omniverse brings over 20 years of NVIDIA's groundbreaking work in graphics, AI, simulation, and compute into a single platform to transform 3D workflows. Let me explain how it works. Omniverse connects independent 3D design worlds together into a shared virtual space. The connecting language of Omniverse is USD, or Universal Scene Description, which you can think of as the HTML of 3D worlds. Today, a 3D artist typically works sequentially across multiple applications, like 3ds Max for modeling, then Substance Painter for texturing, and finally Unreal Engine to arrange the scene, exporting and importing large files many times along the way. With Omniverse, artists connect their apps and then compose the combined scene using Omniverse Create. Once in Omniverse, an artist can draw on NVIDIA's superpowers, like physics, which can let artists use true-to-reality simulations that obey the laws of physics, and RTX Renderer to see the scene in real time, fully ray-traced or path-traced. Omniverse also lets you collaborate with another artist, from across the room or across the globe, connecting their favorite apps into a single shared scene. Changes made by one designer are reflected back to the other artist, like working in a cloud shared document, but in 3D. This is the future of 3D creation and how virtual worlds will be built.
and black rhinos are both gray. partnering with over 40 ISVs to transform 3D workflows. Today, Omniverse is connected to leading applications like 3ds Max, Maya, Blender, Unreal Engine, and many more to come. We now have several new additions to Omniverse. Today, we are announcing an even easier way for artists to collaborate with Nucleus Cloud. Now in early access, Nucleus Cloud simplifies Omniverse scene sharing. It's one click to collaborate, and your entire 3D scene is online. Leading 3D marketplaces are now featuring Omniverse Ready Assets. Check out the collection of free assets now available in the Omniverse Launcher. Omniverse Machinima has been a big hit with creators who love to game. It lets you remix and recreate your own game cinematics with thousands of game assets and environments. We are now adding MechWarrior 5 and ShadowWarrior 3 assets to the Machinima library. Audio to Face is a revolutionary AI-enabled app that easily animates a 3D face with just an audio track. We are now supporting BlendShape and direct export to Epic's MetaHuman. AI, powered by NVIDIA Studio, opens up new capabilities for creators. Individual artists can now do the work of large teams. Application developers are quickly embracing the power of AI for content creation. Adobe Lightroom adds AI to quickly create detailed masks around subjects. Topaz Labs Video Enhance AI uses AI to upscale videos retaining higher details than traditional upscaling algorithms. Adobe 3D Substance Sampler uses AI to generate high quality photoreal 3D materials from photographs. And Notch uses NVIDIA Maxine Pose Estimation to enable creators to drive a full body rig with a single webcam. NVIDIA Studio also features Canvas, our application that instantly converts brush strokes into photorealistic images. Today we are announcing a major update to the Canvas AI. Built from NVIDIA's Gauguin 2 research, the latest app produces images that are four times higher resolution with more detailed elements. It also adds new materials like flowers and bushes. The new Canvas app is available free to download at NVIDIA.com. Gamers and creators have made GeForce high-performance laptops the fastest-growing category in PCs. In the last year alone, 35% more RTX laptops were sold, and creators have fueled a 3x jump in studio laptop sales. We are announcing over 160 new laptops, all built around our RTX 30 series GPUs. They include a wide range of form factors, like dual screen, easels, and convertibles. There are new 14-inch portable powerhouses and even more G-Sync and 1440p displays. As more gamers and creators turn to laptops for their primary PC, performance expectations continue to increase. At the same time, they are demanding sleek form factors and longer battery life. In 2017, we reimagined gaming laptop design with an extreme focus on efficiency. We developed a system design approach that delivers high performance in thin gaming and studio laptops. We called it Max-Q. It has fundamentally changed how laptops are built. With the help of AI, we optimize everything. The GPU, CPU, fans, display, board design, laptop construction, even optimal settings for games. Today, we are announcing the fourth generation Max-Q technologies. Let me show you what we've done. On laptops, power is shared between the GPU and CPU. CPU efficiency is critical for maximizing performance. So we developed CPU Optimizer. We've worked with CPU vendors to create a new low-level framework, enabling the GPU to further optimize the performance, temperature, and power of next-generation CPUs. As a result, CPU efficiency is improved and power is transferred to the GPU for more gaming performance. For creators and students who rely on compute-heavy apps like Adobe Premiere, Blender, or MATLAB, we've developed rapid core scaling. 
It enables the GPU to sense the real-time demands of the application and use only the cores it needs. This frees up power that can be used to run the active cores at higher frequencies, delivering up to three times more performance for intensive creative work on the go. On top of the great performance, laptop gamers also want more battery life. Battery Boost 2.0 has been totally re-architected. Now, AI controls the whole platform, finding the optimal balance of GPU and CPU power usage, battery discharge, image quality, and frame rates, all in real time. The result is great playability on battery, with up to 70% more battery life. Our fourth generation of Max-Q technologies with CPU optimizer, rapid core scaling, and Battery Boost 2.0 continues our commitment to bring thin, high-performance laptops to gamers and creators. Today, we are announcing the RTX 3080 Ti Laptop GPU, bringing the flagship 80 Ti class of GPUs to laptops for the first time. Featuring 16 gigabytes of the fastest GDR6 ever shipped in a laptop, the RTX 3080 Ti delivers higher performance than the desktop Titan RTX. RTX 3080 Ti laptops start at $2499. The RTX 70 family is our fastest growing class of laptop GPUs. Introducing the RTX 3070 Ti. It's 70% faster than the RTX 2070 Super laptops and delivers 100 frames per second at 1440p. RTX 3070 Ti laptops start at $1499. And laptops powered by both of these new GPUs will be available starting February 1st. For creators looking for the best laptop for your work, we are also announcing new NVIDIA Studio laptops. With the latest RTX GPUs, these laptops are seven times faster than the newest MacBook Pro 16 in 3D design. With RTX hardware accelerated ray tracing, AI, and NVIDIA's high-performance video processor, they are the perfect tool for any creator workflow. Together with NVIDIA Omniverse, Studio Laptops are ready to build the virtual worlds of the future. With over 100 Studio Laptop designs, there's a wide variety to meet every creator's needs. This includes ultra-portable 14-inch thin and light, perfect for remote workers or students like the new Razer Blade 14. Dual display laptops for video editors like the new Asus ZenBook Pro Duo and the most powerful laptops for creators, like the new MSI Creator Z17, featuring RTX 3080 Ti. Let's see what digital artist Jacob Norris can create in 48 hours with a powerful 3080 Ti laptop. So my name is Jacob Norris. I'm a 3D environment artist working in games and films. Gaming does inspire a lot of the artwork that I create. Games I'm playing now, games I've played in the past. I actually get a lot of the inspiration for what I want to work on while I'm traveling. Having a laptop with me with a nice big screen, a nice powerful GPU that allows me to work in all the 3D programs I need, just helps me to get my ideas out as they're coming to me. NVIDIA reached out to me with the opportunity to test out this new laptop, the Razer Blade 17. I'm going to create a couple scenes with it. It's got a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti in this thing, so it's going to be pretty powerful. All right, let's do it. Sweet. This is pretty sweet because actually I've got the entire scene open right now, which is a huge number of polygons. It's able to glide around the scene with no issues and try to get some of those rocks kind of blending in and it'll look a lot better once we get it into Omniverse and we can get that texture. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Jacob, describe your overall 
experience with this laptop. I wish you had given this thing to me sooner. My life would have been way easier. We were able to easily render all this stuff, no problem, inside of Omniverse in such a short amount of time. I feel like I can go anywhere with it and still am able to produce the quality artwork that I could do at home. I kind of want to run away with this thing. <laughs> this is over, right? I'm getting out of here. You guys, you guys figure it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. To recap, GFN delivers the ultimate cloud platform for PC gamers. Today, we are bringing more games, more devices, and more networks to the GFN ecosystem. RTX is the new standard, and the GeForce RTX 3050 makes it more accessible than ever. With 75% of gamers still gaming on GTX GPUs, this is the perfect time to step up to RTX. Laptops are the fastest growing PC platform. Today, we announced 160 new laptop designs, including our latest laptop GPUs, the 3080 Ti and 3070 Ti, and our fourth generation Max-Q technologies. We announced NVIDIA Omniverse for 3D design collaboration is now generally available for GeForce RTX and Studio Creators. This is the future of 3D content creation and how virtual worlds will be built. Over the past 20 years, we have dedicated ourselves to building the ultimate platform for gamers and creators. And today, we continue that journey. But there's one more thing. The RTX 3090 Ti, a monster GPU, 40 shader teraflops, 78 RT teraflops, 320 tensor teraflops, 24 gigabytes of 21 gigabit per second G6X memory, the fastest ever. The RTX 3090 Ti, our next BFGPU. Tune in later this month for more details.